Third week of Lent, March 16, Thursday. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Harry Bird, Bishop of Cologne. First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verses 23 to 28. Thus says the Lord, This command I gave my people, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people and walk in all the way that I command you, that it may be well with you. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but walked in their own counsels and the stubbornness of their evil hearts, and went backwards and not forwards. From the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt to this day, I have persistently sent all my servants, the prophets, to them day after day, yet they did not listen to me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck, they did worse than their fathers. So you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. And you shall say to them, This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 14 to 23. At the time, Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke. But some of them said, He cast out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, while others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are safe, but when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Jesus opponents suspect that he is casting out demons by the help of the prince of demons. Jesus explains to them that we cannot have dichotomy in our life. If he casts out demons, he cannot be a party to them. He invites us to check whether we are with him or against him, whether we gather with him or scatter. If we are with Jesus, it should be seen in our thought patterns, ideology, words, language, choices, priorities, actions, and overall lifestyle. Our life must have no dichotomy in thought, word, or action. The opposite of dichotomy is integrity. We need to have physical, psychological, spiritual, emotional, moral, social, and financial integrity. A question to ponder upon for all of us, is there dichotomy in my life or integrity? Am I with Jesus or against Him? Amen. To all the listeners, have a blessed and meaningful Lenten season. May the blessing and grace of Jesus Christ be upon you and your family members. Amen. Friends, if you have benefited from this podcast, Consider giving us a 5-star rating on whichever platform you are listening to right now. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord.